In this video, you will learn about the nth term of an arithmetic sequence and the arithmetic means. The nth term of an arithmetic sequence is in the form a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times d. Here, a sub 1 refers to the first term. d is a common difference and a sub n is the nth nth term while n is the number of terms. Okay, for example 1, solve for the 20th term of the sequence 1, 5, 9, and 13. First, you are going, we are going to write our sequence 1, 5, 9, and 13, and then we will extract from here our values. So for a1, our first term is just 1. Next, we'll solve for d. D is just the common rate of increase or decrease for every term. So from 1 to 5 is plus 4. 5 to 9 is also plus 4. 9 to 13 also plus 4. In other words, our D is positive 4. Next is the value of our N. So the number of terms that we are going to find is the 20th. So N is equal to 20. Next is our AN. So since um, the one that we are going to solve here is um, a sub n, our 20th term, then it is the one that is unknown. So, we are going to follow the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 multiplied to d. So, here all you have to do is substitute the right values. So, n, the value of n that you are going, we are going to use is 20. Our a1 is 1. Our n is also 20, the same, no? And then D is 4. So, substitute. So, we have A sub 20 is equal to our A1, which is 1, plus our N is 20, minus 1. So, you, you just have to follow the formula above for your guide. And then our D is 4. The next thing that we're going to do is to simplify. So, of course, parenthesis first. 20 minus 1 is 19. So, for our second step, you have a sub 20 is equal to 1 plus 19 times 4. So, of course, following m does, we will multiply first 19 times 4. So, 19 times 4 is 76. You just copy 1 as is. Next is, for the last step, you add 1 and 76. So, that is 77. That is already our 20th term or a sub 20. Second example, solve for the 50th term of the sequence 100, 90, 80, and 70. So the same, right for the sequences first. So we have 190, 80, and 70. Our first term, or yung pinakaunang numbers ating sequence i, 100. So a1 is equal to 100. Next is, get the difference between terms. So from 100, 90, 80, 70, we can see that it is actually decreasing subtracting 10 in every term so we have 100 minus 10 is 90 90 minus 10 is 80 80 minus 10 is 70 so here we have the value of our d is negative 10 next the term the number of term that we the, the number of terms that we are going to find out is the 50th term so in other words our n is equal to 50 next would be of course the unknown value is our a 50 or a sub N. The same, follow the formula. A sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times d. So we have a, our n is 50, equals a1 is 100 plus n minus 1. So we have 50 minus 1. And then our d is negative 10. If we are going to have a value of d which is negative, make sure to use a parenthesis after our uh, quantity n minus 1 to denote that it is not minus 10 but it is times 10 or multiplied to 10. Next is simplify. Inside the parenthesis, you have 50 minus 1. So we have, that's 49. And then, following m does, so we have 49 times negative 10. And that's just negative 490. For our last step, so you 100 as is lang. And then we have a sub 50 is equal to 100 plus negative 490. So its sum is 
negative 390. So, A sub 50 or the 50th term is negative 390. Example 3, find the 14th term of the sequence negative 12, negative 3, 6, and 15. So, for solution, here we are going to get the 14th term, but the given sequence has a negative um, negative values. So, all you have to do is to make sure to identify the proper value of the common difference. Okay, so we'll write negative 12, negative 3, 6, and 15 here. And then identify, of course, the first term. And that is negative 12. A1 is equal to negative 12. Next is, we will get the common increase from, increase or decrease from negative 12 to negative 3 to 6 to 15. Take note that this sequence here is approaching positive values or positive infinity. In other words, it is increasing. Thus, our D or common difference is a positive number. And what is that number? We have positive 9 or plus 9. Take note that negative 12 plus 9 is negative 3, negative 3 plus 9 is 6, and 6 plus 9 is 15. So we have D is equal to 9. And then Rn, the number of terms that we're going to get is a 14th term, so n is equal to 14. And then we have An, which is a known. So substitute the right value. Here we have n which is 14. So we have a sub 14 is equal to negative 12 is a value for a1 plus n again is 14. So we have 14 minus 1 times d which is equal to 9. Next step is subtract the values inside our parenthesis. So we have 14 minus 1 that is 13. So our second um Step would be a sub 14 is equal to negative 12 plus 13 times 9. And then multiply 13 and 9, that is 117. So next, we have negative 12 plus 117. And the answer is just 105. You have to remember this all the time, alright? If we are going to add different signs, subtract. So different signs, subtract. So we have different, one is negative, one is positive. So we have to Subtract 117 minus 12, and the answer is 105. Which sign would be followed? The sign of the larger number, which is 117. So that is positive 105. That's all. Okay, example 4. Which term of the arithmetic sequence is negative 57, given that a1 or a sub 1 is equal to negative 2 and a sub 2 is equal to negative 7? So, we're going to write the sets of given values. So, yung a1 ang given isa at a2. Remember that a sub 1 is the first term and a sub 2 is the second term. So, magkasunod lang sila, alright? So, we have negative 2 and then negative 7 and then dot 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 which denotes that our sequence is infinite okay next would be we'll try to write the next term after negative 7 okay following that the increase from negative 2 to negative 7 the increase or decrease between them so we can say that the next one is negative 12 and then we have negative 17 afterwards and negative 22 afterwards so here we can view the sequence as um, negative numbers that actually is going to negative infinity or it approaches to negative infinity so the increase here or decrease which is actually 5 is of negative value so we these sequences here it's negative 2 negative 7 negative 12 negative 17 and negative 22 it's is actually decreasing okay so we have negative 5 as a value of our d and next, we have a sub 1, which is negative 2, or first term is negative 2. And then, this negative 57 here in our example, fourth item, is actually our a sub n. And then, unknown is the value of n. Following the formula, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times d, we have, okay, We'll write the value of a sub n first. It's negative 57. Next, a sub 1 is negative 2. And then n is unknown. So we will just copy n minus 1. And then d is negative 5. So here, 
in simplification, you have to remember that uh, the concepts that you've learned on binomial times a monomial or binomial monomial multiplication. So we have negative 57 is equal to negative 2. Just copy the rest. And then multiply n times negative 5. That's negative 5n. Next, we have minus 1 or negative 1 times negative 5. That's plus 5. And then manipulate your equation. Transfer the unknown, the term with an unknown um, quantity to the left side of the equation. That's negative 5n. So from negative 5n, it becomes positive 5n. And then also, negative 57, you transfer it to the right side. All the constants should be on the right side of the equation. So, the first constant is negative 2 and plus 5. You just copy it. Do not change its sign since we are not transferring it from one side of the equation to the other. The one that you're going to change here is only negative 57 since it's from the left side of the equation. So, you have from negative 57, it becomes positive 57. Next, we have to simplify add 5 plus 57 is 62 and negative 2 plus 62 is positive 60 and then to solve for n divide both sides of the equation by 5 so we have 60 divided by 5 is 12 and 5 divided by 5 is 1 so we have n is equal to 12 that's the number of n in other words negative 57 is the 12th term of the sequence Example 5. Find a sub 1 if a sub 5 is equal to 66 and a sub 6 is equal to 72. For our solution, we will plot the given values first. So since the given one is a sub 5, that's the fifth term. So we're going to write 66 as our fifth number here. Okay? Blank muna yung iba. And then the next given value is a sub 6 or the sixth term is 72 so we will write it after 66 so you have 66 and then 72 okay we'll find its increase of course it's very um, easy no so from 66 to 72 that's just plus 6 so our d is equal to 6 next our a sub n for our a sub n we will just choose 66 or 72 since we already have um those given values so if we will choose 66 so we have a sub n is equal to 66 then our n is equal to 5 since 66 is the fifth term okay you got it you got that item there but if you have chosen 72 as your a sub n okay if you will choose 72 then our n is equal to 6 since 72 is the sixth term okay so for this particular example we will choose 66 which is the fifth term so we have a n is equal to 66 and n is equal to 5 and then the unknown value is a sub 1 so we will see if this is as easy as the previous examples okay so the same follow the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times d so our a sub n is 66 our a1 is unknown so just copy plus n is 5 minus 1 and then substitute the value of d is 6 so we have it there simplify 5 minus 1 is just 4 okay so we have for the second step 66 is equal to a sub 1 plus 4 times 6 okay and then multiply 4 and 6 so 4 times 6 is just 24 so next one um, transfer 24 to the left side of the equation to solve for a1 so we have 66 positive 24 becomes negative 24 and then subtract so we have 66 minus 24 is just 42 so our first term in other words for that sequence is actually 42 so we can have a checking or we can check if our answer which is 42 is correct by writing every sequence down or every term rather every term down so from 72 to 66 okay that's minus 6 all right <clears throat> the inverse of our of our sequence okay 
nagpasadrak tayo kasi nagsisimula tayo sa pinaka last na term. Okay? 72 minus 6 is 66. Minus 6 is 60. 60 minus 6 is 54. 54 minus 6 is 48. And 48 minus 6 is 42. So, yung 42 nga ang pinakaunang term niya. Okay? So, if you, were, you will count it down, so, 66 is really 1, 2, 3, 4, the 5th term. And 72 is the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, the 6th term of the sequence.